What's going on everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome to another video and today I am back in Instruments of Destruction and I want to mess around with lasers. Now I'm sure we've all seen those movies where somebody tries to access a high security area and they get shredded by like a laser matrix type deal. Kind of a gruesome image, but I figured that might be kind of cool for shredding buildings. For some reason, I'm having trouble getting up this hill, I'm not sure why. Oh man, I just keep bottoming out, that's why. But uh, in any case, guys, I want to build a cube, a flying cube that basically has just like a laser matrix inside of it. You know, I think that'd be really cool and I'm going to give it a try. I don't even know if lasers can intersect that way. Man, this thing sucks. Let's just get straight to building. <laughs> I keep struggling. I thought I could maybe, you know, destroy all that stuff, but my clearance is very low. And I'd have to get rid of some parts, so I'm just not gonna bother. Let's start a fresh build, and let me actually see if lasers can intersect. I'm really curious about that, so let me quickly build, uh, like a test rig. That is fantastic. Love to see it. That is exactly- oh my goodness. <laughs> That's going very far. I'm pretty sure I can adjust the power on them. I've got to be able to, right? Yeah, strength. So I guess the next step is to build one section of these uh, lasers, right? This is going to be interesting because it's going to be a very big cube, guys. I'm going to start building the basic frame, so let's get right into it. Oh man, I have one layer built and I'm already tired. <laughs> but uh, this should work out okay. I think I'm going to build the rest of the cube, I suppose. And then I'll start filling it up with, uh, with lasers. My initial idea was to have like a piston-powered matrix that I can basically hover over things and, you know, lower it downwards. But I don't think the pistons provide enough length to do what I want to do. If like one piston could extend you know, all the way from the top of this building to the ground, that'd be great, but obviously that's not the case. Uh, maybe there's a winch thing now? No winch, but I can definitely make something with ropes to, uh, you know, to simulate that. However, I think I'm just gonna make this a flying cube. I'm just gonna do what I set out to do. <laughs> Alrighty, the cube has been completed, and now it's time to start putting lasers in this thing. I'm- I'm excited. I'm- I'm excited. I'm not excited for the lag. I'm excited for the lasers. I wonder how many lasers I'm actually gonna put on this. Let's- let's count as I put them on. Let's count. Now, the one thing, actually, is I'm not gonna be able to- here, let's just stick a laser here. So that, uh, that kind of takes up space, doesn't it? So I'm gonna leave that space. And uh, we can always fill it up later, but that might be a good spot for thrusters as well. All right, there we go. Perfect. Let's uh, let's start doing it. I think I'll alternate them. I think that makes sense. This one will have one. This one will have one. This one will have one. And so on and so forth. Let's keep going. Okay, so I actually want to spawn that in and see what happens. Alrighty, and let's flick them. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Look at that. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay. Okay. Let's do more. Let's do more. I really wish I could just copy and paste things. Cause I'd love to just copy this layer up. You know, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. I wouldn't be able to see through it, but it would literally just be like a hollow tube with lasers all over the inside. I think that'll be enough to shred everything though, you know? So let's, uh, Let's keep going. Alrighty, I think I got all the cannons on here. I'm not gonna lie, I did not count them. I, I kind of forgot to count the lasers, but I'll figure that out later for now. Let's just see what this thing looks like when it turns on. I'm really curious. Oh my goodness. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, that's fantastic. That is lovely. Look at that. <laughs> okay, well, now we gotta make this thing fly, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. I think I'm gonna try and use balloons to lift it up, and we'll go from there. Let's see how many balloons this will take. Alrighty, 16 balloons. Let's try it. I don't think this will work. It is not working. Okay, well, that still works. Excellent. Yeah, this thing is heavy. This thing is just a little bit heavy. I wonder if the balloons have to be up. Like, if they have to be facing up. 
I'm gonna quickly save this thing and just test that. Yeah, no, it definitely works just fine. I just, I'm just way too heavy on my other creation. No problem though, cause I've got a lot of space. More balloons. More doubloons. The balloons. More of the balloons. I gotta stop that. Alrighty, got a bunch more balloons. Let's give that a go. Hopefully it doesn't flip my whole cube. It might flip my whole cube. Oh boy. Oh boy. The cube is floating, guys. The cube is officially floating. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Expand, expand, expand. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to... I don't know why I built them at the bottom. I literally have the exact same space up top to put the balloons. And for whatever reason, I put them on the bottom. I'm going to quickly fix that, guys. Give me a sec. Much better. Much better. Let's give that a try. Expand the balloons. Oh, no. I need that to be incremental. That's the problem. Oh, do I have to fix each one? Yup. Oh, no. Alrighty, that was a lot of settings to change. Now, admittedly, guys, I could have probably used less balloons and just amped them up to uh, strength 3 and probably used the overdrives as well. However, well, retrospect 2020. <laughs> but let's give this a try. I'm excited now. I think I'll be able to control this a bit better. Let's just keep pumping these things full of air. Nice. Nice. Okay, are we gonna fall back down? We likely are. Oh, very slowly though. Look at that, we're floating. We're actually floating. <laughs> Wahaha, the floating cube of lasers. I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, we gotta make this thing move, like, move forward now, guys. You know, we gotta, we gotta give it a bit of a stable flight. I think I basically just have to give it thrusters in each direction and hope that that works. Uh, I'm not sure if it will. I can also put thrusters on pivots, but I don't really want to do that. That might be kind of weird. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, this is so cool. Let's turn that off. Let's lower it back down. Oh, man, that is so cool. I love it. I love it. It's obviously going to be at a different setting when we put thrusters on it, but... Let's do that right now. I wonder if small thrusters is the way to go for this one. I'm gonna lift it up just to see if that even works. I've got some thrusters on there, some small thrusters. If I press W, then that that does that. So let's give it a try. Let's lift this thing up. Let's stabilize it. Perfect. And let's see if we can achieve just some forward flight right now. It kind of wants to tip it. That That's what I was afraid of. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Lift it up, lift it up. Go forward, turn on the lasers, and go forward. It behaves differently with the lasers on. Let's just try and hover over a building here, you know? Oh, I don't have any side lasers. Dang it. Sorry, side movements. <laughs> side thrusters is what I meant to say. Lift off. Let's go. Okay. We're flying. Let's do some forward flight here, and let's position ourselves over a building. Oh, no. Go back up, buddy. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I really want to put some thrusters up top. I really want to put some thrusters up top. I think it just makes so much more sense, you know? But for now, this will do. You know what? I think this building looks like a good target. Let's turn on our lasers. Oh my goodness. That like really stabilizes it. That's crazy. Perfect. Throw the lasers on and drop the balloons. Let's see this. <laughs> oh, it's really laggy, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, it is shredding the building there. That's for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, there were other buildings around it. Okay, well, let's turn off the lasers and let's lift back up. That was quite a bit of destruction. I love this thing already. That building doesn't exist anymore. Sorry, buddy. I really want to give this thing better control, like, with thrusters up top. I think I am going to add some up top as well, guys. Just to make it a little bit more controllable, you know? I think I think that makes sense to do. Alrighty, got some thrusters on top. Let's take a look and let's see if that makes it any better. It definitely might be good to have some balloons that are, like, constant buoyancy, you know? And then have ones that are adjustable. Just to make it a little bit smoother. Because this thing is bobbing quite a bit. Well, let's just go full throttle. It actually works a lot better. I'm not going to lie. It does work a lot better. Alrighty, turn on. Wow, the lasers just like stop it in one position. That's kind of ridiculous. That's actually a really cool feature. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, and now slowly lower this down. Slowly lower it down, I said. There we go. Look at this. Just shredding it. Just lasering it. 
<laughs> uh, that's so awesome. Okay, turn the lasers off. Where is it? Where is the building? The building does not exist. <laughs> oh, man, that's fantastic. I guess let's keep going. <laughs> Our job's not done. Okay, we're gonna hover up, and we're gonna get the building on the left now. The lasers stopping you like that is amazing, but it makes sense because I've got lasers pointed in, like, every single direction. So it's just trying... Oh, we don't need that. We don't need that. <laughs> oh, no. Go up. Go up. Alrighty, now we are over this little thing. Lasers on. That's amazing, man. The fact that it just stabilizes me in every direction is awesome. I guess the lasers uh, do have a force behind them. Makes sense. Slowly lower this down and shred this tower. No. No. <laughs> tower just getting shredded, dude. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, we have to lift off because we're not going to get everything here. So we need to go up. Turn the lasers off. Look at that. Nice little trim. You know, the guy was exceeding the maximum building limits. So we're just kind of doing a little bit of trimming for him. Move it over a little bit. I guess I should have made it bigger, right? Lasers on. I'm getting like 22 frames, but I'm having so much fun doing this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. I love to see it. Oh, that's so good. We're definitely hitting our lasers on something now. Because my cube is just not big enough, apparently. Apparently should have made an even bigger cube. But this, this seems like it's working just fine. Lasers off. How we doing? Ah, eh, you know, we got a bit of a foundation left. I think we can make some adjustments here. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> On the ground now. Oh, not quite. And there we go. What building, right? <laughs> That's awesome. We do have some posts left over. That's interesting. I guess I could just add more lasers, but this seems fine. There we go. We shredded all of them now. Just move the whole thing a little bit over. Okay, got a couple more buildings left. Let's do it. I don't even really need the side lasers. Like, this this might as well just be, like, a single plane laser matrix that flies around and lands on things. But the fact that it's a cube is pretty awesome, I think. Just lasering it, dude. I love it. <laughs> Oh, I love it. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I think we might actually clear it. That's awesome. Good stuff. Yep, keep going. Keep going. It's like a 3D printer, but the complete opposite, you know? Let's go slightly faster. Nice. 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 Oh, oh, we're gonna nick it there. We're gonna nick it there. We're gonna have to come back for that. No problem. Lasers off. Let's go. Levitate again. Let's get this big tower in the building next to it. Dude, this thing is ridiculous. It's so ominous. Uh-oh. 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 Chill, 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 chill. You're not supposed to do that. Lasers on! <laughs> uh, wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't watching my altitude. It happens, though. I'm just gonna use lasers to stabilize myself. It really seems to work quite well. Oh, come on, dude. Don't fall like that. Don't do that to me right now. You know what? Let's just shred this tower first. Let's just shred this tower. It needs a bit of trimming. I think this tower is a little too tall. Let's give it a bit of a trim with the laser cube. I love it. <laughs> the nice thing about this is that if something tries to fly through the laser cube, it's just gonna get shredded. It's like one of those, uh, like mosquito, like electric mosquito swatters. I don't exactly agree with those things. Feels like a- oh jeez, oh jeez, what's happening to my camera? Up, 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 lasers off and up. There we go. <laughs> but that's what it feels like. It feels like one of those, like, electrified mosquito zappers. It's not, like, the most effective way of destroying stuff, but I think we can all agree that all of us would need a change of underwear if we saw a giant laser cube lowering itself on buildings, you know? Like, that's... That's a little bit scary, no matter how you spin it. I love the fact that I don't have to adjust the game speed because the lag is just making it slow-mo for me to begin with. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Just shred it. I don't even care anymore. Just land on top of it. Shred it all. Shred it all. Fantastic. Just some posts left over, you know. Oh, that's awesome. This thing is wicked. Well, guys, I think the laser cube was definitely a big success. 
I mean, I could have done it several ways. I could have had layers of, uh, of lasers, you know, doing the exact same thing. And like I said, I could have just had the one layer of it doing everything that I just did now. But I think this does make it more stable. It makes it cooler. And like I said, it makes it more versatile in terms of what it can destroy because it can just fly towards like a bridge or something and swallow it up. You know, like imagine this thing flying into the side of the bridge, crashing through it, and then just going om nom 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 like Pac-Man and eating a whole bridge. That'd be, that'd be hilarious. We need some bridges to eat now. <laughs> but I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the laser cube. Uh, give me some other ideas to build an instruments of destruction. I got a couple, but lasers are really neat. And I'm sure you guys have some ideas as well. So I'd love to hear them. And if you did enjoy the video, click the like button down below. Check out some of my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Laser Cube out.